Smells like burning. This is a problem. Where is it? Are you looking for something? Not at all, Mr. Young. I am completely at your disposal. Have you contacted the airport? Yes, 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 of course. Are you telling me the truth? It looks like you're so busy searching that you haven't done anything yet. I'll find what you're looking for. You just contact the ground. <clears throat> That's very kind of you. Very well. I have lost a glove. A glove? And it has to be this specific one? Yes. It's a special order, perfectly fitted to my hand. I'm in serious trouble without it. So I gotta find his gloves. Why is he getting so upset about a glove? He's more high-strung than he looks. Let's see what I can Tell find. Me, where did she go? Like I said, sir, she's not aboard this flight. That's impossible. I talked to her. And... And what, sir? Olivia had a gun. A gun? Please, don't even suggest such a thing. She pointed a gun at me. Are you saying I was seeing things? I think you must have. Maybe it was a pepper shaker. Even if she was on board this flight, there is absolutely no way she would be able to get a gun on board as well. It was a Glock 26. I'm very sorry, sir. Perhaps the shock of the lightning has caused you to be... confused. Whatever the case, I have to talk to her again. Then you'll just need to keep on flying with us. If you get lucky, you'll end up on a flight with her. Eventually. That's not really what I meant. Okay, so now I gotta do some more searching. Might as well save on the phone. God damn, so I have to find dude's glove. I'm sure that'll help. What's that? I found it. That was really hard. This is a problem. I found the glove. It's all burnt up, though. Ah, thank you so much. That's okay, is it? No problem. I don't want to use it. You don't? So, what's going on? Nothing that concerns you, Mr. Young. This is my problem. Simply recovering the glove was the most important thing. Huh? What does he want with a glove that can't even be used anymore? Just being high-strung doesn't explain that. I need to probe a bit deeper here. Just can we keep talking to him? Do the emergency doors work while in flight? It's possible to manually switch over to door mode. But just touching the controls to do so causes an alarm to sound in the cockpit. You would be better off not to get any silly ideas, sir. What if that alarm was broken? Deactivated? What are you planning? I'm just trying to figure out the method of escape used by Olivia and the Vanishing Man. Method of escape, is it? How many emergency exits are there? How much do you know about the Federal Aviation Regulations? Hmm... They are the safety regulations as set by the Federal Aviation Administration. In accordance with them, a commercial aircraft must have enough emergency exits that all passengers can exit the aircraft within 90 seconds while only using half of them. That is what the rules state. We call it the 90 second rule. So, how many emergency exits are there? Mathematics are clearly not your strong suit. 
With crew, this aircraft can carry almost 140 people. Let's say 30 people can escape from one exit in 90 seconds. That would be one person every three seconds. Dividing 140 by 30 therefore indicates that at least 4.6 exits would be needed. Now, twice that are required by the regulations, which means the required number of exits is nine or more. That means even you and your lack of math skills have a chance to escape, sir. Check the windows. Could you escape by opening the windows in the cockpit? The cockpit windows do not open. You aren't as smart as you look, Mr. Young. Well, maybe he just doesn't Indeed, know planes. the construction of the seat and cockpit windows is very different. While the seat windows are three layers of polycarbonate resin, the cockpit windows are five layers of reinforced glass and polycarbonate resin. Seat windows are 14 millimeters thick, but the ones in the cockpit are 45 millimeters. Passenger windows are designed to withstand external pressure, but the cockpit windows have to be able to withstand collisions with birds. Open windows like that, sir, please. You know quite a bit about this airplane, don't you? It's only natural. Our passenger's safety may rely on it. Natural? I'm not sure I'd use that word to describe your encyclopedic knowledge. And I'm not sure I'd use the word encyclopedic. Why, this level of knowledge. Even you could easily attain it, Mr. Young. Easily? Yes, very easily. How? Why, by taking a quiz. Quizzes are a great way to remember almost anything. You want to give it a try, don't you? He's gonna actually test me. Aircraft trivia. Looks so he... like I stepped on a landmine. So do I actually have to know I'll this? Or is he gonna you give me some simple questions? All you need to do is answer them. Based the on what he told me, only needs three correct answers to pass. Are you ready, sir? Question: What is jet fuel made from? <laughs> oh, it's made from uh, that's kerosene? Wrong. Really? I don't know. Like, I don't know anything about jets. You really think nitro packed steel? S Shut just up. how many flights do you that, think? That was no actually really dumb. Break. Please try. That was really dumb of me, actually. I thought he said I only had to get three right. Hmm, Fashion you want savvy. To try my quiz again? Yes. You're here. Look at all the these quiz. chivos. Let's get the big. That is correct. Don't clap. It's sarcastic. Kerosene doesn't freeze at low temperatures and gives off no soot. That makes it extremely effective as an aircraft fuel. Okay. Next question. Question. How many parachutes for passengers does a passenger aircraft carry? Uh... None. That is correct. Letting an amateur loose with a parachute would do them no favors. If something should happen, don't think about jumping out. I would instead recommend adopting the brace position. Next, the last question at the beginner level. Your luck runs out here. Question. What are airplane tires filled with? Nitrogen. That is correct. That's three, so I'm done that level. Friction with the runway causes aircraft tires so to become very hot. Oxygen would pop. When this happens, using nitrogen minimizes the risk of fire. A lot of that it's makes sense. Inert, doesn't oxidize and contains no water, so it doesn't expand. Nitrogen is therefore the perfect choice when it comes to landing and taking off. Oh my, this is quite something. You've cleared the beginner level. Congratulations. So now I have to do intermediate trivia. This is pretty nutty, man. 
However, that's all this was. The beginner level. Next comes Shouldn't you the be working? Test. We'll get started as soon as you are ready. <laughs> uh, it sounds like the quiz math. Yeah, let me do it. There's probably two more levels. I can also Google some shit. <laughs> ready for the intermediate quiz, sir? Just Think cheat. you have what it takes. The intermediate level needs five correct answers to pass. And then it's gonna Question. need seven. How can or you ten. A glance if an airplane carries passengers or cargo? That's pretty standard. That is correct. A cargo plane doesn't have windows. Just there for the no passengers pilots, anyway. Of them after all. Getting rid of the windows also makes the aircraft lighter. And also increases the strength of the body, like for military aircraft. Even something like a single window makes a big difference to an aircraft. Now then, question two. Question. Why is the air very dry inside an aircraft? Prevent condensation. Some that of these are kind correct. of self-explanatory. At high altitude, there is a large gap between inside and outside temperatures. That means moisture in the air would cause condensation to form. If that water rusted or froze, it could block pipes, causing all sorts of issues. That's why the air inside of the aircraft is kept very dry. To keep the aircraft safe. Now then, question three. Question. What do the pilot and co-pilot have prepared for them separately? That's made that the most correct. sense. That's a stupid question. Like, no one cares. It prevents both of them suffering from food poisoning. Everyone oh! Heard that, though, haven't they? I didn't know that. However, I just, it just made the most sense. The did you know they eat different meals before they even take off? Always think of the worst possible scenario and act accordingly. We are true professionals. That's pretty crazy. Now, next question. Question. Why are the internal lights turned off when landing at night? Hmm. I don't want to fuck this up. Um, I want to say that, but it seems pretty extreme. No, it's wrong. Uh, turning out the internal lock. Enhancing airport security would probably... Please. Fuck, man. Do I have to redo the whole thing or just the intermediate? God, I don't know. Let's skip ahead. Get now. Okay, that's that. Did you old? Maybe it is this for the pilots. Yeah. No, oh, that is correct. To get the passengers' eyes accustomed to the dark in case something happens, I might oh, also okay. point out that this is also one of the 90 second rules. Now we come to the final question at the intermediate level. You are doing quite well. Question. Where did, what does he have time to do this? I thought he was a busy flight attendant. On board. Yeah, I don't think so. That makes the most sense too. Well done. That is by the correct. fueling bays. Like, course, you want to blow the whole allowed, thing up? But some people don't always obey the law. Failure to properly dispose of a cigarette could cause an accident. 
So, even though they aren't allowed to be used, laboratories must have ashtrays. What's more, these regulations were also stipulated by the Federal Aviation Administration. Hmm, well, five questions in a row. You're smarter than I thought. Well, when it's multiple choice, it's a little bit better. <laughs> We aren't finished. The advanced beginner, not a problem. I saw. All right, it's the advanced one. So this is gonna get crazy, but I feel like I can do it. Here we are. The advanced. However, I don't know. Why I'm skipping this. I'm also this. adding a new rule. You must answer each question within five seconds. Fuck you. That's are not you fair. Ready? They don't want you question. searching it up. Who first succeeded in powered manned flight? Correct. The other guy originally made bicycles. Question. Okay, I don't have time to explain my answer. <laughs> it constantly records aircraft data. Ooh, the black box. I know that one. Correct. It is attached at the back of the plane. Question. Is the captain's seat on the left or right side of the cockpit? I know that. Correct. These well aren't done. bad. The seat on the left side of the cockpit is always the captain's. Yep. Question. What is the highest passenger class? Dude, some of these aren't even hard. I am I correct. Maybe you'll sit there yourself one day. Unlikely, but maybe. Question. When a bird crashes into an aircraft, it is known as a bird what? That makes the most sense. Yes, correct. In fact, that is the name a given bird to the incident of a bird hitting a structure. Question. What is the name of the president's jet? Air Force One. Okay. Correct. Everyone knows Currently, that. I'm not even American. 747 is used. Question. What is the name given to the control for angling an aircraft up and down? Uh. Oh, shit. Pitch. You didn't mess it up. Correct. There are three control axes, and the other two are roll and yaw. Question. What is it called when two aircraft almost collide? Dude, these are easy. Another correct answer. Passenger planes are fitted with devices to prevent near misses. Question. What is the largest aircraft manufacturer in America? Oh. Easy. C correct. Their headquarters is in Seattle, and they also build spacecraft. Boeing is massive. Question. What name is given to thrombosis caused by always sitting in the same position? Ah! Mr. Young, is the... If you do want... That Breaking sucks. Up ...isn't my style. It, then it's Peter Pan syndrome because Stockholm syndrome is when you fall in love with your attacker oh, you or your capture. Yeah, I'll skip through this. Be it. You quit. I didn't even remember how many questions they wanted me to answer to begin with. Oh no, it's it is it really this? Correct. I guess Peter Pan said it over the first time. It is also called long haul syndrome. Staying in the same uncomfortable position for a long time is bad. During a flight, you should keep moving about and massage your legs. Yeah, but a lot of times they want you to sit well, down. You answer them all correctly. Congratulations. What's the last question, yeah, too? That's thanks. fucking bullshit. Like I said at the beginning, anyone can reach this level easily. 
You have proven that, Mr. Young. Oh boy. So what does that do? Anything for me, or did I just waste time? I have a lot of credits. I walked right into that one. I've proven him right. We're kind of past the whole glove thing now as well. But if he has such a great memory, why doesn't he remember what happened between us before? Oh, by the way, the squeaking window. What happened to it? What squeaking window? Could they have escaped through that window? I have no idea what you're talking about. We're getting to the that bottom of it, though. in the middle of economy class? She's the one who got all worked up about the squeaking window, right? You mean on the west side? Yes, the west side window. She got all excited, shouting. I don't recall any such incident. How has he not figured this out yet? Me? I might suggest that you are mocking me, Mr. Young. Hmm. I'm not getting anywhere. It's really not going to do anything. What a beautiful sunset. We're over water, right? The day I proposed. Why do you call her that? It seems kind of like you're. Who killed you? It's weird. I will. Oh, that's all we were doing. Okay, that's done. Just two more pieces. I forgot. I gotta use that shit more often. I love what's giving us facts. The door looks fine. Okay, I'm a God, I hate that dude. He just stares at you. I'm gonna have to go buy some more food from the cat. If someone, like, had their eyes closed and they heard me, like, say that, like, doesn't make sense. And this creepy motherfucker over here. But I gotta use more actions, like, use, uh, use my focus a little bit more. But I have so many, I might as well spend it on... I'm gonna eat one of these, just because I want to unlock it. There we go, we haven't had this high in a while. I'm gonna check the window out. Well, looks fine. I don't well, want to do that. Fine. No, no, no. Can I do anything with this? No. 
Oh, there it is up there. So yeah, it is him. But how do I do it? Stuck? It's for Boston versus New York. Pretty good seats, too. Of course, it's been used. <laughs> Things don't come that easy. Just baseball, no one really cares. One more piece. Hmm. Well, what could be left? Ah, there it is. Oh, There's a couple, actually. Oh, it's different the front now. Is a cherry blossom pattern, and snow is on the back. Like it was reversed last time. When did that change over? So what do we do? We've connected the dots. I've collected all the puzzle pieces. The west side window. There will be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. I'm very sorry, sir, but she wasn't aboard. I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved. Marshall. Are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be. But that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you The same uh, trick won't work God twice. Damn it. Although it's still the first time for you. Oh, I... The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? The destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly! I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after, you're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. Even if it means I have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, one other thing. Something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting a courier known as Rabbit. I'm still very confused. <sighs> now he's gonna open up a new, a new file on him. I'm going to be killed. Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. Literally vanished. But they didn't vanish at all. 
They were never on this flight. This isn't the AG Flight 117 of Boston. It's a different aircraft, heading for Washington. In other words, they didn't vanish. I moved. It must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. It's been used. I don't feel anything from either one anymore. David. Why do you shave your beard every day? <laughs> it was just starting to grow out. They love the beard, bro. Might Such as well keep waste. it. Little Peggy. What should I do? What the heck? Are we back? That's another episode in the can. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this one came with three. The prologue, episode one, and episode two. So, okay, I, I, that makes sense. And then, then they're going to... I don't know how many they're going to do total, but... There's still one more to do. And then, then there'll be another release date for more. That's why it was kind of random. It's starting to pick up. The thing starts slow and gets confusing. Made a lot of money. That took me a long fucking time. Like, <laughs> the stakeout set. Well, this is the first season, and there's going to be another season. Oh, I didn't, oh, there you go. Okay, I'm going to split here, and we'll be back with episode two. God damn, that was a long one. <laughs> Stay tuned.